This is a 1995 BMW 325iC. The C stands for, well, convertible. This particular model is in Morong Grun, which is basically Morong Gray, which looks like it's sea green, or at least teal. Those Germans. This particular model is the 1995 version of the E36. It is powered by the M50. This is the last year of the M50 in the 3 Series. The M52 came out later in this year. It measures at 152 cubic inches, which is 2.5 liters. 184 horsepower and 179 foot-pounds of torques. This car has Vanos on the, I believe, the intake side, which is variable Nackenwellen Stirrungen, which is just basically variable valve timing in German. <laughs> this car comes with anti-lock brakes and cruise control and of course the battery is in the trunk because BMW for weight distribution this car is pretty was pretty far advanced because even BMW back then had Ram Air that came in from behind the kidney grills it has plastic covers on its headlights but the lights themselves are glass It has air conditioning with R134A that still blows very cold. Amazing for a BMW. As we go into as we go into the interior, <clears throat> which well is leather. At one time it was very pretty, but of course now it is a 29-year-old car. As you can see. It is cockpit driven with water, with the temperature controlled air conditioning, dual climate for the giant cabin, double airbags. Oops. 180,000 miles. And of course, a gear trag five speed because well sports car it came with a full computer with cons with temp side temperature fuel consumption speed speed limiter timer and your range and a clock But of course, it came with a uh, plastic back weight. So why am I showing you this car? Well, I'm going to be driving this car from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada to beautiful Tampa, Florida. We're going to go cross country in this. I think I'll put a map here to show you the sheer distance that we're dealing with. It's about 2,600 square miles. Square miles is about 2,600 miles. And we're going to see what we can do. Like I said, the car is 180,000 miles on it, but it starts and runs just like normal. It was my uncle's car. I know he maintained it. The drive shaft has been replaced with a brand new one. All the fluids have been changed. So we're going to see if this old girl can not let us down. We're hoping. Thoughts and prayers, as they say. Um, but honestly, the best fun of this entire thing, though, is if you didn't notice earlier in the videos, and boy, I'm in lighting really hell. If you didn't notice early in the videos, there's a slight problem. This is how I'm driving the car around because in, in, Germ in Nevada, 
you get a little piece of paper like that. That's it. You get a piece of paper that you put on your dash. So I'm going to be wondering how many times I'm going to get pulled over on this trip. We'll be filming that, of course. So yeah, this is going to be crazy. If you like classic cars, because this thing is a classic now, it is 20, 29, could be 30 years old. The E36 is over 30 years old as a model. Um, if you like that, you know, subscribe, you know, like this video to help it with the, uh, the whatever the YouTube does over there and, you know, share and comment. Of course, I want to hear those comments because yeah, this is going to be nuts. Um, yeah. Yeah. So we'll be catching you uh, with some updates daily. So if you have a classic car or something that's kind of fun and sporty, you know, take it out. You'll make someone's day, maybe even your own. I'll catch you down the road.